Let's plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And now we spin the block around just like the hell in the clock. Are you irresponsible without your money or not? Thought he had a plan, but we gon' foil his plot. Heard him sneaking in, so we just ran in the spot. And now we spin Today, from Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, it's week five of the NFL on EA Sports. Patriots versus Drew Locke and the Denver Broncos. From a venue that's been sold out since it opened back in 2002, there's a look at the home of the Patriots, Gillette Stadium in Foxborough, Mass. A moment ago, the pride of Massachusetts, the Patriots introduced to this, as always, sold out crowd as they get set to go head to head with the Denver Broncos. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look at this Patriots team entering play. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Broncos, and they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. They're hitting their stride of late. Winners of three of their last four. So here are the Broncos now for their opening drive. They'll be let out by their quarterback in his second season out of Missouri, Drew Locke. And what a performance in his last game. A couple of touchdown passes, that was positive. But more than two interceptions. Yeah, that's not what he's looking for. What did Vince Lombardi say, though? Winning isn't everything. It's the only thing. And that's what he legs his hat on after last week's game. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early. Something safe. Something they're confident about. Something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. The numbers a week ago from Melvin Gordon, 14 carries, 51 yards. They've won two straight games and have done it with the running game as the focal point of their offense. So in this contest, I don't think about doing anything else. I continue to ride the hot hand that I've established and lead with the runners. From the 44, lock. That'll be caught by the rookie, K.J. Hamler. And he gets this deep into Patriot territory. I don't think there's anyone who could possibly doubt how fast he could run in the open field. But if there were, he silenced those thoughts there. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. He was trying to get it to K.J. Hamler, the rookie. But it's going to be second down. So we'll look here at the key inactives, and we got this list before the game down on the field. And they tell us the same thing every time, don't they? Next man up. No excuses. Be ready to play. That's the mantra of every organization. The key is having guys on the roster who are capable of filling in and playing at a high level. That's when you know you've drafted well, scouted free agents well, and stocked your team just the way you're supposed to. Sets up the screen to Gordon. And they'll get him down short of the first down, right on the 10-yard line. They do get seven out of that, but not enough to prevent a fourth down. For a second there, I thought that might bring big. Screen. Oh, they flip it to the kicker. He looks like he's going to throw it. The fake field goal catches everyone by surprise. And the Broncos take it all the way down the field and score on the opening drive. Looking sharp on that first drive. These guys, of course, coming off back-to-back -back victories. And you see that kind of advancing into this game, don't you? You certainly do. Brandon McManus lining up for the extra point. They had to go to the monitor, get an extra look. That's what the technology is for. And this touchdown will count. 
Extra point from McManus is good. And that makes the score 7-0. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Fielded a couple yards into the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. Out come the New England Patriots, led by their six foot five veteran quarterback, Cam Newton. If you just break it down in individual terms, he played really well last week. Zero interceptions, three touchdown passes. Not a whole lot more he could have done to win that game. But you know something's funny when we talked to him. All he focused on were throws he missed, yeah. other opportunities that didn't get done. Good sign of a leader. Great sign of a leader because they didn't win, and that's all he cares about. Gets this to the 24 for a gain of four. White's numbers from a week ago. 14 carries, 53 yards. They look like a team that really emphasized the running game in the offseason. They were going to build around it. Didn't matter whether they are going to run gap scheme, power scheme, whatever. They've got a runner who finds yardage if you give him just a little bit of space. He's going to take off with it. And he's able to get this one up to his 30 before he's out of bounds. Six yards there off the scramble, but it'll still leave him with a third down. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. Brought down, but not before picking up the first with a very effective stiff arm. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now White. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Looks like they're establishing a pretty good pattern here because they've been very heavy in the running game of the last four plays. Yeah, you took the words right out of my mouth. So far, four plays in this drive, all four on the ground. Now left side, a completion was tight in. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 12 yards there and a first down. First and 10 at the 48-yard line. They'll run with White. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Jewel on the tackle. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Get the score, Broncos 7, Patriots nothing. On second and nine, Newton. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. Barreling in for the sack, Shelby Harris. So now after the sack, Cam of the Patriots going to look up at a third and long. And they weren't in zone coverage, they were in man, and each man did his job. And that looked like vintage, old school coverage, didn't it? Man coverage reminded me of an old Raiders team. They had a Hall of Famer at one corner and a defensive player of the year at the other, and they just locked people down. So a first and ten now in Denver territory at the 39-yard line. On the move to his left. Now he'll pull it down. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets it down to the 30 there. He'll get eight on the scramble there. It'll be second and a couple. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two. On second down now. It's White. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And they're going to have a third down. Out of the gun, Newton. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. He was trying to keep his eyes downfield. Nobody came open. He's trying to do everything that he'd been taught, right? Every bit of the technique. But if no one's open, there is no technique except make sure you hold on to the ball as you go to the ground when you're getting sacked. And this one hits at the three and then bounds into the end zone for a touchback. So now the second drive offensively coming up for the Denver Broncos. And they'll be looking to make this a two-score advantage. Had the touchdown on their first drive, Charles. Hey, they can get up two scores here on the road. That's a heck of a start. And not only have they thought about it, I wonder if they visualized it. I remember playing and they used to turn the lights out in our meeting room and run through a situation like this and say, just think about what it would be like to be up on the road and take the crowd out of it. Maybe they did something bad. Throwing again on second down. Lock eluding the pressure right. This is Hamler on the receiving end. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That one a gain of 20 and a first down. 
Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. And incomplete, he dropped it. Maybe a rookie mistake there. Second down. His throw incomplete. Adrian Phillips there to knock that one away. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Again, they'll throw with Locke. And able to find Deshaun Hamilton complete. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. Lock now on first down, escaping the pressure right. And nowhere to fit that football in. It's knocked away and incomplete. It was the veteran Devin McCourty who got a hand in there to break that one up. Lock again here on second and ten. Got Gordon open, completes it. And able to break one tackle, but then quickly brought down. But a nice little gain. That'll leave them with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. Trying to keep the drive going here. This is play number seven on third and two. Flush to his right. He can now lock. He lost the football. It's out. And it's picked up by the Patriots. Scramble had his eyes on that first down marker CD, but lost the most important thing, the football. Yeah, wasn't quite there. Focused solely on getting to the first down marker. Forgot to cover up and take care of the ball. Be taken down, but not he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. Nice way to start the drive. A gain of 12 and a first down. A lot of storylines to a New England-Denver matchup. So many great games in the past. And worth noting, too, that Cam, of course, has his history with the Broncos as well. He was on the losing end of Super Bowl 50 when his Panthers lost to the Broncos 24-10. And the Broncos get there and take him down. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. He's going to look deep down the field into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Justin Simmons, and they will take over at the 29-yard line. But when I looked down, he was kind of shaking his head right after he threw that pass. So what did you see? Well, from a defense's perspective, anytime you have your eyes back towards the quarterback, you're in a position to make a play on the ball, whether it's a big-time play by you or an overthrow by the quarterback. You have a much better opportunity. So mark off the yardage for roughing the passer. And I've seen this before. On a screen pass, not only are you rushing the passer, you're rushing him deeper than normal. And I think a little frustration kicks in at the end. You're going to hit him anyway when you shouldn't. Got him, man. It's the rookie Jerry Judy. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Throwing on first down is Locke. Able to get this to Gordon. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It'll be a gain of eight yards, and that'll make it second down. He's going to drop this one down to Gordon. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. Locke looks to throw it again. And the Broncos are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Second and goal from the one. Locke's going to sneak it, and he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Drew Locke in the final seconds of the first half. And the Broncos push further out in front. 
And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it. That can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. So we come upon halftime with our score 14 to nothing. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, let's take a look around the NFL. Here on there you have it. Halftime quickly over. Third quarter, here we go. Brandon McManus to kick off for Denver. The Patriots trailing here, but they will have the football first as the third quarter is underway. Fielded near the back of the end zone, and the half will begin with a touchback. The Pats at the line, ready to go. They come out here with a zero on the scoreboard. What was said in that locker room? That's what I want to know. I would love to have been in there because we often have the feeling that there's a lot of shouting, screaming, people upset. But typically, halftime locker rooms are a lot more clinical than that. And in this case, are they upset that the plays weren't working because of execution? Or did they think that they were just bad plays to call? Yeah. We'll find out pretty quickly here if they felt like they had something going, but they just need to do it a little bit better or not. We'll find out. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Opting to run again here with White. And he's going to have a Patriots first down as he'll get this up to about the 42. Moneyline's run a premium in the first half. He's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Now Newton on first down. That'll be taken in by Demir Bird. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Demir Bird with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Patriots have cut it back within a score. And for as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. Hamler now to return it. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. The Broncos take over first and ten. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And they give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. It's now second and six. This is Gordon as they go to him again. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. Seven yards there and a first down. from the gun with Gordon. He's got the first down and more past midfield. And he's going to get this in the enemy territory at the 45. Solid gain of 18 yards and a Denver first down. First down, Denver. This is Gordon. And he is going to lose yardage here. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Sometimes I forget how much information he has to go through before the ball's even snapped. But what a diagnosis right there. Saw the play, shot through the gap like a rocket, ends up spilling it for a loss. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Throwing his lock on third down. Flushed out right. Got a man. It's Judy complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. I think it's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. And the Broncos are going to be set up with a first and goal as good running gets him down to about the four-yard line. Second and goal from inside the five. Shotgun snap to lock, eluding the pressure. Thrown across his body, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Adrian Phillips, and he'll go down inside the 15 at his own 13-yard line. 
So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the special teams penalty costs some yardage there as they come out on first and 10. Here's White. And a short gain here as he gets it up only to about the six. Justin Simmons. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. Brings up second and nine at the six yard line. They keep it on the ground, White again. And a gain of about four here moves this from the six up to the ten. He was brought down at the ten yard line. That's New England on third down. They've been good. Three for four thus far. This is third and four. Three and seven. Newton to throw. This is White on the screen. And he's brought down, but not before they get it across the 20-yard line. That goes as a gain of 11 and a Patriot first down. From the gun, here's Newton. Steps away. He'll run it. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds to run for it, the decision a good one, picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. The drive continues as they search for a tying touchdown. Here's first and 10. Now a play fake, and it's Newton. Looking for Harry, he air, oh, wide open, complete. And all the way in, touchdown, New England. Nikhil Harry. His second touchdown on the season. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. The receivers have been running them ragged. Maybe some tired legs in the secondary. Maybe some tired legs in the pass rush. Didn't get to him. And look what resulted. A touchdown. Tie game. They've got a chance to take the lead. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And the interception thrown in the red zone last time. We'll see if they can rebound. I just have to think the last thing he said as they went back out there was, don't do that again. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I think that. I think that not only did he say that, but he also told him, let's put it in the end zone that it's supposed to be in, all right? The end zone we're trying to score. I know we're being a little bit facetious here, but the bottom line is take care of the football and everything else should flow from there. Quick lesson, never ask the play-by-play -play <laughs> guy a question. Hey, you're my partner. I know you're right there with me. And he'll get this up to about the 40. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Second and four. Lock going to hand it off here to Gordon. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. And he got half of what he needed there, two yards. And it'll bring up a third and two more. Now Lock. Open man, he completes it to Judy. And he will have the Broncos first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. First down Broncos as Locke finds Judy. Some good games going on in the early window. This might be the best of the bunch. And he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back nice plays, 12 yards that time and a first down. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Getting down to the good stuff, all tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. So it's Bronco football as we get your reset here. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. To throw is locked. Open man Hamler, that's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Now the Patriots going to use one of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. Back to throw. Lock escaping the pressure. And the pass is caught. Touchdown, Denver. Jerry Judy. Jerry Judy, his fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Broncos have taken the lead. 
And that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. And I'm looking at the clock and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off now. On the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced a two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before. And if you haven't, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score okay. right there to give them the advantage. New England with a first down as they begin the drive. And that last drive, so effective in the passing game, resulting in the touchdown. Maybe not many people were focused. And he can't get a throw off. He's taken down. What a huge play at this point in the game. Out to his left. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. Got a man open, that's Harry. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. An incredible play there. They do get big yardage, but they're still stopped a yard or two short. And it's fourth down. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. He's back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep down. That's caught inside the 20. And they're going to have this way down deep in Denver territory. The teams practice their plays during the week. They're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. Well, going into the final play of this game, they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end. But they couldn't get it done. However, we were treated to really a spectacular affair. Even though they didn't finish it off, you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still... You're wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even